Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by the electromagnetic spectrum. You should then be able to list the different waves in the electromagnetic spectrum in order of wavelength and frequency. OK, I'm showing you here white light passing through a prism. Now light is an example of an electromagnetic wave. So let's start by looking at what's meant by electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. They transfer energy from the source of the waves to an absorber. Now a good example is a microwave oven like this one. Microwaves transfer energy from the source, in this case the oven, to the absorber, which in this case is food. Another example are solar panels such as these. Light waves transfer energy from the source, in this case the sun, to the absorber, which in this case are solar panels on the spacecraft. So as we've seen, visible light is an example of an electromagnetic wave. If we pass white light through a prism, then it splits into a spectrum like this. Each colour of light has a different wavelength and frequency, and you need to know the order. On the red end of the spectrum, the waves have a lower frequency and a longer wavelength, whereas on the violet end of the spectrum, the waves have a higher frequency and a shorter wavelength. Visible light is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, so I'm showing you the whole spectrum here. And remember that visible light is the only part of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be detected by the human eye. So we've got radio waves, microwaves and infrared. Then we have visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays. Now in the exam you could be asked to name any part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And you can do that by learning this phrase. Raw meat is very unsanitary, except giraffe. And notice that I said except for x-rays, which is cheating a bit, but it still works. Remember that the frequency increases from radio waves to gamma rays, and the wavelength decreases from radio waves to gamma rays. Scientists say that the electromagnetic spectrum is a continuous spectrum. That means that the cutoff point between one type of wave and another is not always clear. Now, electromagnetic waves do not need a medium to travel in. That means that electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum, for example in space. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum, and that speed is 300 million, or 3 times 10 to the power of 8, meters per second. Now, a key idea that you need to understand is that different materials absorb, transmit or reflect electromagnetic waves. What happens to the waves depends on the wavelength, and we saw a good example earlier. Microwaves are absorbed by foods which contain water molecules. However, microwaves are reflected from metals. In contrast, light waves are absorbed by black surfaces and reflected from shiny metallic surfaces. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the electromagnetic spectrum in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.